sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. This is an honorable setting, for marriage was created by God and crowned by Christ Jesus himself, who, during his earthly ministry among us, also attended a wedding, choosing to celebrate with those who were pledging their lives to each other. This is also a solemn setting, for the wedding vows that will be spoken here contain the highest of human promises. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into lightly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. Because this is true, if any man can show just cause as to why this man and this woman should not be lawfully joined together, let him speak now, or else forever hold his peace. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Thank you. 
you so much for this time of worship. We thank you so much for Jess and Stephen giving themselves to each other wholly. We pray, God, that in our lives we can give ourselves wholly over to you in obedience and a life of worship. Help us to express our worship to you today, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
what they could do individually now will be multiplied for the kingdom of God and for your fondest dreams to be accomplished in their lives. Together they shall accomplish much for the kingdom. And together they shall stand against every force of Satan and be given God's power to do awesome things through Jesus' name. We pray these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. You may be seated. Jobs can be lost or changed without our permission. And sometimes bad news slaps us unexpectedly. But one of the joys of the marriage covenant relationship is that this life, with all of its unknown twists and turns, has now lived with a companion. One who walks the path of uncertainty with such. The sanctuary is filled with friends and family, people who have grown to know you and to love you and to laugh with you. Sometimes they'll laugh at them. <laughs> Many of them have stood where you stand. Many of them have spoken what you were about to speak, and many of them have promised what you were about to promise. And we are brimming with advice. Good old marital advice. 
advice. In fact, there's probably enough advice in this room to make three or four good episodes of Oprah for Dr. Phil. <laughs> But our advice, as well as intended as it may be, is not the best that can be heard today. Our advice, as honestly as we could form the sentences, will still be tainted and marred and imperfect and prejudiced. There is better advice. This better advice comes from God's word. From his trusted pages, we hear truth that strikes a chord of <coughs> authenticity like no other. God inspired men to record his wisdom, his plan, his way, his advice for those faithful enough to hear it. So before we hear from you the covenant vows, may you hear from God a covenant promise that he makes you. To all those who are here. The passage is Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. You both memorized it. Hear it fresh. Trust the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. Say it with me. And He will direct you. Seven. Seven Paul. Do you take Jessica to be your lawfully wedded wife? To live together after God's plan in this holiest state of matrimony. Will you love her, and comfort her, and honor her, and keep her both in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other women? Will you keep yourself only for her so long as you both shall live? Until death us do part. Until death us do part. <laughs> I just said thank you, Seven. 
to be my lawfully wedded husband. To have to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Until death us. <laughs> Don't know your head with us. <coughs> there are tender moments in life, Lord. The birth of a child. Twinkle in a lover's eye, a bride and groom standing pure beside each other. How tender is that? Thank you for the many steps that this couple has taken to arrive to school. We honor you, God. We recognize you in the lives of these two young people. We thank you for protecting them. We thank you for making, helping them make the hard decisions in high school and even college. We thank you, Lord, for that special, mysterious sparkle that they saw in each other. We thank you, Lord, that that will grow and mature as the years go. Father, I pray for Stephen this afternoon. You will fill him with the leadership requirements and responsibilities of the home. Bless him, Lord, with clear thinking and a heart that longs for more and more for you. Bless him in his calling that you lay upon his heart. Bless him as he fulfills it a day at a time, a hospital visit at time, a message at time. And Lord, I thank you for just this completer, this helpmate of our son. I thank you for her tenderness. I thank you for her smile. And the talents you have blessed her with, Lord, are those that will blend well with the calling that you've laid on both of their hearts. Pray that you will bless Jess and encourage her and fill her too with the wisdom that it will require to sometimes rein in an over-eager husband. And may their lives together be a witness to thousands upon thousands of others who witness people, becoming one again. We ask it in the powerful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> Thank you. 
believe you have some rings. Devin and Jessica has selected one of the most well-known symbols of what they are doing today, the wedding band. Gold is one of the most precious metals that man has discovered here on earth. In fact, gold is referred to in the Bible, and no one's waiting for those who love the Lord. Gold so pure is no longer yellow or white. This gold will remind them every time the sun glances off of it, the purity of their marriage and the vows. How awesome they are. Oh, and, and if you look at a ring, a circle, there's no ending part. There's no, you know, we're going to do this. And every time they glance, and every time in our culture, the world sees, they will be reminded, ah, there's a married man, there's a married woman, committed to one person. Wear them well, kids. Stephen, will you take this ring and place it on your bride's finger and repeat after me? This ring is a symbol. Of the love and commitment, of the love and commitment, I give to you today. I give to you today. <coughs> Jessica, place this in the boys. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> this ring is a symbol. Two candles, which were, can I say, brought to life earlier, Leanne and Sally, the moms. Such a precious influence that moms have. They ignited those two candles as a symbol of the life that, through God's help, they brought to both their children. And those two lit candles represent the two lives. Of Stephen and Jessica. Up to this moment, their lives have been separate. Their lives have been apart. They have been coming from two different directions to produce the joy and the harmony in their home that is proper and fitting for a godly marriage. There must be a merging of all that they are, which these two lights will symbolize. And I kind of think that it's a fitting reflection of our Lord's teaching when he said that a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Stephen and Jessica will light the unity candle, expressing the goal of their union to radiate one light, one that is brighter and stronger for the entire world to see.
the seriousness of this moment, you have spoken the covenant vows. You have prayed and asked God to bless your marriage. And you have added the symbols that speak of your intent. All these acts reflect what your heart already believes, 
that Mary's covenant is binding for as long as you live. Therefore, therefore, it is my privilege. Therefore. It is my privilege as a minister of the gospel and as your dad. <laughs> to announce that you are husband and wife together. In the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let not man and everyone said, Amen. Step. Thank you for having such a powerful part in Stephen and Jessica's life. 